Hey folks, Nate Fairley here, coming to you from my farm in Gibbon, Minnesota. I'll wear this evening and out here prepping the seedbed with the Summers Renegade. That's right, not a field cultivator. I want to share just some of the key features of the Summers Renegade. One, uh, we're running these Samurai blades. Uh, what those blades allow us to do is run a little bit of a less degree of angle. Um, allowing us to uh, to go a little shallower and not do any smearing. What I mean is it does a, does a lot of lifting. So, I mean, check this out. There's no bottom. There's no bottom. I'm down six, seven inches digging that hole, and there's just nothing resisting. So, these corn roots should have no problem blowing through that, yet still having nice firm top so we're not pushing and replacing that seed in nice throughout your plant the corn tomorrow. So something that's unique to me, I'm used to the field cultivator with sweeps and shovels. Uh, this thing is doing a wonderful job. Okay, um, We are on top of some ripped ground. Uh, we had, like I said, we replanted those beans but boy I tell you what there was a lot of compaction over here last year so we Came out here, took our time. You see a lot of these blowouts here, okay? So we did a good job ripping last fall. Got deep, got underneath it, um, didn't leave it too rough. So this thing is just doing a wonderful job uh, prepping that seed bed. So next thing I wanna show is, here's the floater track. My fertilizer put on here this morning, okay? And uh, because those samurai blades do more lifting, it actually lifts that track right up and out of there. Can't even see it. Can't even see what's left of it. Hard to see the tire tracks from the tractor pulling it as well. So, doing a good job getting lifting, fluffing, and then we're pressing it back down with those baskets. This thing is a 26 foot. I'm pulling it with a 7280. Could use a few more ponies, to be honest. Uh, we've got the tires deflated down to 8 psi in the back, 10 in the front give us that traction. Um, so we're getting, I'd like to see nine mile an hour. We're getting about eight, eight and a half um, out of it. So two gangs of discs, uh, three bar harrow, and then the basket in the back. So this thing right there is the brains. Okay, what that does is it talks to This is what operates the whole thing. So we've got constant flow back there and I can make all my adjustments from the iPad. I can change my hitch. I can change the gauge wheels up or down. I set my depth. I've got it at a one setting right now. I'm operating about three inches of working depth. Wings I've got on float mode. And I'll have the blade angle, front gangs, two degrees rear at three. The options are zero to 19 degrees here, okay? We run them more aggressive in the fall and then straighten them out because again, those serrated samurai discs do that cupping, lifting the soil, not smearing. And then the baskets, um, we've got uh, the set point at a thousand. To be honest, I don't know if that's a thousand PSI. I don't think it is. Um, it's just a set point, but uh, it definitely is pressing on that soil and firming it up. Last thing that's really unique about this, again, the ability to change on the fly was very beneficial out here because if you see back there, there's my corn stalks. I still had about 20 acres of corn that came out here to harvest, and we didn't rip that. We didn't get to it because it got cold. I came out here last fall one evening right before freeze up just to cut some of the residue with this thing. And then today, coming back in here, I was able to end these drown out spots keep my settings there and then as I came up to the stocks simply load that and boom on the fly change change the pressure of my basket change my blade angle a little more aggressive so I can bury some of that residue um, and then just change my depth to go a little bit deeper so pretty cool uh, precision or what I call is uh, precision tillage technology right if we think about farming today we want to farm acre by acre and currently if we have a piece of tillage equipment it's set the same here as it is over there right 
and probably here and there in the whole entire field. So having the ability to change to get a different desired outcome is something that's very unique and has, I believe, a play in the future of farming. Uh, thing I would love to see, preloading a prescription so all of this stuff changes on the fly as we're going across that field. Really happy with it. Uh, really happy with what this thing is doing. Um, again, gives the versatility to make those changes on the go. Pretty cool piece of equipment, the Summers Renegade.